Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute and easy gingerbread doormat. All right. So all you're going to need is a doormat, which I got mine from my key on clearance, some scissors, and some paint. This is the one I got for $5.77, like I said, on clearance at Ikea. They do have other affordable ones also that you can use. Okay, so what I'm doing is folding in half and finding the center of the doormat so that I can make the little peak at the top. The pencil wasn't dark enough, so I decided to come back in with a marker. So I'm drawing at the shape. You don't have to cut this whole shape I'm drawing here, but I'm drawing out just to see, to line it up, to see the top part and to where I want that to be. Once you decide where you want that shape at, then you can just trace that out. I'm freehanding everything. You could use a ruler or something like that to get more precise lines, but I'm just freehanding it. And just gonna draw it and then come back and cut along those lines at the top part only. Okay. The scissors weren't sharp enough or hard enough to do it, so I had to come back in with a box cutter. So what I'm doing is a mixture of the box cutter and the scissors. I'm scoring along the hard part of the backing and then I come back in with the scissors and I continue to cut the shape until I get all the cutouts and the shape I need for the top part of the doormat. This is probably the most difficult part of doing the whole doormat, just getting the shape outlined. You don't even have to do the shape if you don't want to, but I think it's super cute with the way the shape is on top. But you could just draw it out up top and leave the doormat in one piece. Once you get one side done, then what you're going to do is fold it in half so that you can get the shape on the other side. If you wanted to, like I said, you could just draw on both sides, but I didn't think that was necessary. And I think the shape is cute and this way it'll be even on both sides once you flip it over. So I flipped it. What's the better way to flip it is the other way so that you can see when you're cutting but um you can figure it out and do it the best way that you choose once I was done on both sides then you have the cute little shape of the little chimneys and the peak of the roof and then you can begin to start to work on the project all right so I have my paint and I'm just gonna go along the edges where I want the outline to be for the gingerbread house theme. So you go along the peaks of the roof, you go along the peaks of the chimney, and like I said, the roof comes down on a slant and then goes over so that in that space in between is going to be where you draw the actual roof. So once you're done with that, like I said, I'm freehanding the whole thing. Once you're done with that, then I came back in to start to draw the outline for what is gonna be the doorway. All of these lines are gonna be like thick. So you can go over them a couple of times. I start to shape out the window and the actual door frame itself. And then like I said, I come back in and I thicken up all the lines all the way across just to give it more of a pop when you look at it. And I'm hoping that it doesn't fade that much when it's done. Then you can come in and you can do the windows. Right here, you can use a stencil, just cut out a little shape for the windows and do that. But again, I just freehand the shape and went in and did individual little window panes on each of the windows. Once I was done with that, then I decided to do the shape for the roof. So it's just like a little scallop, you know, thing going along there. And I just staggered along each one. And then I started to work on the sides for the little details on the side. For here, I would advise if you had a stencil to cut to do that. I didn't have one, but you can make one. For the dots, I just used the other end of the, the paintbrush and just dipped the paint in and did the dots that way. 
right here I'm seeing that I don't like the way it looks so I'm gonna fill in where I tried to do the details and just make it like a little triangle on the side so being that I didn't like the way those came out I made a little stencil out of a piece of cardboard just cut a heart shape for the doors and the adornment above the doors if you have stencils, I couldn't find any stencils at the Dollar Tree. Um, so I just made a little heart one. But if you can find some stencils, it would be cute for the details. And then that way you can get a more clean line. I did the doorknob the same way I did the dots. And then I just placed all the hearts end to end. Did four hearts around like in a kind of a heart circle. I don't know. And I lined them all up at the edge there. Once I was done with that, this is how it looks so far. And it is cute. And I'm just going to go on and do the other side. So this is it. I'm done. And I hope you enjoyed this super quick and easy DIY. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check out my Poshmark, which I'm going to link below. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.